classic muscle cars. I have Ernest and his 1973 Dodge Challenger Rally. Rally, yes. All right. Well, this is a very beautiful car. Well, thank you. What can you tell me about it? Well, it's kind of a long story. Uh, I have always had Mopars. My first car was a 1968 Barracuda when I was in high school. I sold it. I got in my first year of college, I bought a 74 Cuda, which I still have. Uh, I ended up having two sons, and the conversation started coming around who was going to get the Cuda. Uh -huh. So we figured out we were going to need to find another car or sell the Cuda. So we started looking for another car similar or equal to the Cuda. We found this car in Danville, Kentucky, and we drove down, we bought it. The original owner had painted the car. It had actually appeared in Mopar Muscle Magazine before we purchased it. So we bought the car, brought it back to Texas. We showed it in our first ISCA show in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Uh, the paint had some imperfection. The judges didn't like it. It had undercoating underneath. And they told us that if we were going to have, be a contender or try to win, that had to come off. So we decided to do a repaint and basically a new restoration on it. So we started little by little. First thing we ended up, the thing was on a rotisserie and total frame off, paint, engine, interior, everything was done. Uh, then we started trying to figure out what kind of display we wanted to go with it. Okay. Uh, we wanted to make a nice presentation at the ISCA show. Of course, the car is red and it is a numbers matching original 340 engine with the slapstick automatic transmission so everything is original just like it was wow. and it's relatively fast so we came up with the name red lightning good name now in in the actual uh weather there is an event called red lightning it has to have to do dust just right to get the red effect but it's very very rare so that's where we picked the name red lightning and of course we tried to make all our signs and displays and everything lightning on the outside with the lightning bolts and everything so that's how all this kind of came to be uh, we started showing it last year we showed in San Antonio we won in San Antonio we went to Houston we went to Belton first and then won Belton went to Houston and then went to Shreveport Louisiana okay. which qualified us for here in Chicago and Wow that's where we're at right now and uh, we're real happy with the way everything turned out. Of course, there's some things we'd probably do different if we were doing it all over again, but live and learn. And now, eventually, we're going to start on the CUDA. We want to redo the CUDA and bring it up to this kind of quality oh, okay. or level. And so now we've learned on what to do, what not to do. So hopefully the CUDA will be even better. And being the CUDA is uh, your original car, right? Yes, that's From one I've had since I was in high, uh, college. So perfect that the car with most memory is going to get the, the second best, rounder. The best job know. and hopefully exactly. hopefully be here in a couple of years, maybe again. You never know. That would be so fun for that, you. That would be. That's what we're talking about anyway right now. So the engine, it looks a little different than some of the other ones. Well, you no. said... That's, that's the factory original 340 engine. That's uh, why it would look different. <laughs> well, uh, we pulled it out, did the entire engine compartment, painted the engine, put it all back together. Uh, it runs really, really well. Uh, we haven't, since we finished it, we really hadn't gone out and driven it a whole lot. We don't want to get it dirty or oh, chipped up or anything. But now that it's Brad's car, it'll, it'll whatever he wants to do with it. So can, the younger son gets it? Yeah. Ah, yeah. Yep. Well, the younger son has to get the test run right yep the yep. older son gets the nicer one well, i'm the oldest child so i i feel it I, I i think probably eventually he, brad will end up with the cuda too i think he'll end up getting both of them oh okay but we'll, we'll see that's nice yeah i i thought it, would, it looks different most of the engines i i have seen have all chrome inside and this has well, different we're, colors so. we're, we're trying to show it as original as a, restored like it came out of the factory oh, okay if so you start making changes with the chrome valve cover stuff like that then they put you in a different category it's not original anymore oh okay so, so. this isn't rebuilt this restored this is supposed to be as close to as it rolled off the showroom or out of the dealership when, when it was sold brand new this car has been through a lot too you said kentucky to texas well, to louisiana it, it was actually shown or actually sold in danville kentucky yeah and i bought it from the owner we took it to texas of course we went to different shows to qualify for here yeah but, but yeah it, but it, right now its home is in salado texas texas all right 
So you can definitely drive this car all year round down oh, in yeah. Texas. Yeah, we drive it in and out of the trailer and yeah, it's drivable. It runs. Okay, yeah. You said you haven't actually driven it, but are you going to after this show? Well, that'll be up to Brad. We drove it before we did the restra restoration on it. We, we would drive. I mean, it's registered. It's inspected. Everything's legal on it. We could oh. take it home and drive it home if we wanted to. But, okay. Uh, we, we haven't tried to because it gets so dirty underneath and stuff like that. We've been trying to keep it show quality for now. Pristine, of course. Yeah, definitely. With the interior, now is that uh, is that original as yes. well? Yes, that's all original interior. It has the console with the slapstick shifter. That's uh, all stock. And this uh, vinyl top. Uh, vinyl it's top, that's the way it came from the factory. Beautiful, very, very nice quality. Did you have to replace it or did, did you yes, buy it? No, it, it would, had a nice top on it, but during the process of painting, it got damaged, so we ended up having to put a new top on it. Okay. Yeah, it looks, it looks very spacious. This I know, I don't know a ton about cars, but I do know that the Dodge Challenger is one of the original muscle cars yeah, of the United States. The, the Cuda's a little bit older. The Cuda's came out in the early 60s, mid 60s. The 70 was the first year for the Challenger. Yeah. This is a 73. They stopped in 74 and then whenever they started the new ones in 2000, whatever, yeah. so they're, they're back on the road now. Okay. I didn't realize there was such a large gap between the last yep, old there, model. There was a now. big period in there where there wasn't any. So what made you choose the Challenger? Well, we were looking for another CUDA, so I'd have two 74 CUDAs, but the CUDA is only one of 761 made, so we couldn't find a lot of those. Okay. So this was the closest we could come across that we found, that we liked, that was in pretty good shape and had some good history with it, so we bought it and, and brought it to Texas to start working on. How many hours did it take you to restore this? Oh, wow. Or years or months? Well, the first... first we started we went through the whole thing in about six months okay. and then some things didn't turn out quite like we wanted so we went back and did a few more things but uh, we bought the car in 2011 our first show was 2014 probably the last 12 months has been most of the work oh, okay. to so get it to like it is now all right so I would say to answer your question about a year and did you do this yourself, or did you have no, somebody? No, I had a lot of lot of great friends, a lot of great people help me. Isn't that Bill nice? Kirkland and his wife, they're over there. They they had the little restoration shop. They helped me. They introduced me to the ISCA show. They produced a show in Belton. I, I've had a friend of mine, Glenn Robbie, who did a lot of the body work on it. Uh, it's just been you know a lot of folks helping us out to, to get it here. So. Yeah, well it takes a village to make a car, right? Yeah, pretty much, <laughs> and raise a kid. <laughs> raise a kid and a car is a baby. But we it's have tried baby. to make it as close to original as we could. So I can kind of say I've time traveled to back to 1970s, well, 1973. Yep, I, that's, that's probably safe to say that. We, Night, we wonderful. Tried to keep the original tires on it, the, everything as much as we could. It does look very shiny like as if I'm back in 1973 looking to buy a brand new Dodge Challenger. Yeah. And the rally, what what's exactly yeah, the, the what rally is the rally? was a special package that they put on mostly for the high performance version of the car. It does have the 340 high performance which has more horsepower than the standard. Uh, it was just a, a package that they put on it like the SRTs now oh, and okay. stuff like that. It was it was just a rally package. Right on. Well, thank you so much for okay. all your well, time. Thank you. I appreciate Great to the learn interest. about it. It's beautiful, beautiful car. Well, thank you.